This is an excellent display here for now. I see one uh, very good job. Going to chain unending. Oh, I think he's going to pop to the indication. Wait, what? You ever seen a chain that big, Rambo? Okay, I Alright, what's up everybody? Uh let's see here. We're gonna have uh Officer Lass versus Mikasa. Let me just update the names real quick. So how's everybody doing today? Alright, so let's see. We got last versus Mikasa. So it looks like he already has a really good turn one with Kara Curry. He's gonna at least end on the um something. I guess if he doesn't have the extender, he can just go for Burrito. Alright, so he's going for the, the level 5 here. So he gets the level 8 Synchro, he gets the level 7 Synchro. I think I got everything right. Yeah, okay. Alright, we're chilling. Okay, so here comes the level 8 Synchro. It's a burrito. Yeah, Mikasa's on the bottom. So, burrito's gonna activate. Let's see, what do you get here usually? I guess if he's playing two tuners. Okay, so he gets a level 4. The, the beret's gonna put in an attack, then he gets a draw. Alright, so pretty standard stuff. So far. On top, it looks like it's 23 cards as well. Let's see, 4, 18, 19, 22. I'm sorry, 18, 19, 22, 20, 20. Okay, it's 22 versus 23. It might also be Card Curry on the top. A lot of teams have been starting it, so... Yeah, so it is a Card Curry mirror. Hopefully, he does not have the cash in to stop this. But, uh, 3 back row. At least there's no, um... Karma cut at least, but there could also be a Kanadia there or a Floody Eight. You never know. So he's taking a while. Someone's taking a while here, either thinking about what to use. Okay, Fiendish Chain, that's also pretty devastating. So no search here. Kara Curry is the most popular deck in Clan Wars. I don't, I don't um, doubt it. It's pretty, pretty powerful deck, especially when you get a turn one like Mikasa. Not too many decks are letting you go plus two on the first turn. If you open like anything more, you would go even more plus. Okay, there's the cash in. So that's going to give him the draw and it's going to give him a search. So pretty good here. And he's still going to be able to move it into attack mode. So he gets a merchant Danita. to the hand. Hey, Dantec. Alright, so now Burrito gets a draw for him. Thank you for the subscription, Surf. How are you doing today? Thank you for the subscription, Surf. How are you doing today? I think I pressed the right button this time. How are you guys doing? Hey, David. Okay, so he's not going to get a draw here. And the merchant's going to go into defense. Let's see. What's the delay, though? It was a cosmic skills clone. Pretty good. Nice. I hope you're doing good. 
Okay, so Cosmic Cyclone is going to be chained to the cash in. It's going to probably hit the face down. Right? Yeah, so it targets the face down. Hey, Nidder. Thanks for the 40 months resub. How is your day going? 40 months? How long is that? Isn't that like a year? That's crazy. Thanks. Okay, so Ballista Squad is going to be banished. But now everything's in attack. And this can put it into attack, I guess. It's under Fiendish Chain, right? So it won't go into defense. Yeah, it's looking pretty much over at this point. Alright, so it's going to attempt to go put itself into defense, but it's not going to work out for him. Oh, yeah, the cash in works too, right? Okay, so he's going to have 926. So he's going to be 500 off lethal. Unless there's like a... No, 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 yeah. Nothing really saves him there. Okay. Okay, so there's 21 going in. Gonna get rid of the Fiendish as well. Then 14. Okay, so he's gonna be alive by 500. So let's see if he can make this comeback. That's a good start. Merchants is going to be normal summon. He has not gone through um, any of his tuners or anything, so. If he can get something established here, he should be in a winning position. There's another Phoenix chain, though. Okay, so it's all going to come down to him having uh, Kunan Zam in his hand already. Alright, here we go. Alright, so Kunam Zam is in his hand, so he's going to be able to go for the level 7 Synchro. And uh, depending on his other card in his hand, he could go even... He could actually just break this whole board, so let's see. The Red Eyes deck is doped. Yeah, it's pretty doped. I agree. Alright, so we're probably going to see Bray, and then he's going to summon... Either Ninishi or maybe the level 5 just to get over that burrito. Is there a cash in, in the graveyard though? Pretty sure there isn't. Yeah, okay. So there's not a cash in. So he could get rid of both of the synchros if he doesn't have anything else. Okay, so here is the level 7. So the level 7 is going to special summon from the deck. Let's see what he brings out. Okay, it was a Hypa actually. See, so yeah, Hypa also works here. He's gonna use. Okay, yeah. Then he gets a draw though. That's a big oof. Necro Valley. Okay, that's good, I guess. So he's going to remove access to the Gamma Oil, and now he's just going to take out the board. He's got a big boy on the field, so at this point he should be winning, but we will see. I think all it's going to take is another Nanishi. Oh, well, there's a the Necro Valley. Was that a top deck? I didn't even see. Well, Cosmic Cyclone is going to take care of that Necro Valley, and now he has access to his Gamma Oil, which he can get easily with this Merchant. So once again, it's looking bad for him. So yeah, there's the Gamma Oil coming out. Probably going to target the Beret. And he should have Lethal here. He just puts this into defense and then swing, swing, and then kill him with the Merchant. Unless this one goes into attack. No, okay. Oh, that works too, actually. He didn't even have to trade, but it's fine. I like that better, because you give yourself more boost. Okay. 
So, Mikasa is going up one game here, and uh, you hate to see it, honestly, because, you know, especially when you both start card carrying, because one of you guys could have just won there. Or, you know, somebody has to lose, and now the second deck might not be as good. Hey, what's up, Ulan? Alright, let me update these things. How are you guys doing today? I was not expecting to stream a game, but here I am. So we're just waiting for the second deck, or maybe they're gonna repeat, who knows. Honestly, this early into the game, though, I probably wouldn't. Especially for a mirror match. Even if the second deck just sucks, I would just... Probably take the L. Alright, so it doesn't look like a repeat's coming out. So we got... Akiza this time. Shoutouts to Akiza. We are seeing the restart though coming out from Mikasa. Let's see, does he open merchant? You already know when they take this line, they're bricks. It's over. I'm, f I'm sensing the brick. Okay. Okay, level four. He's got the Nisamu, he's gonna set one. Triple set. Okay, so he could have had a worse hand. This is, I guess. I mean, it's bad, but it's not that bad. Yes, yeah, so he's not gonna get a draw either, so that's gonna be unfortunate for him. So let's see if Officer Last can pick apart this board. So he's gonna start off with the Squire. Uh, so you gonna meet a Cashin though. All right, Cashin is going to stop that Squire. It's pretty annoying. Let's see, does he have a response? All right, Forbidden Lance. It's gonna negate the. Uh, well, it's gonna prevent the Squire from being affected from the Cashin. Does he have anything else to add? Okay, so that's gonna be a Squire that resolves. Which is pretty nice. Free brick versus opening squire and lance. You hate to see it. So Akiza, does Akiza have level Og? I have no idea. I'm, I'm pretty sure she has dupe, but I don't know about level Og. Okay, she does have Og. There you go. Thank you for answering my question. So he's going to make the level 10 right now. He has no fear. That's pretty nice, actually. Okay, so here is the Sun Saga. No effect, of course. He's just a big boy. Okay, and uh, he could put it into defense, too, but it's fine. He has protection. Only way it would be a problem is if um, there's a fiendish chain in the back. Okay, so the soldier gets to summon a level 4 lower Karakuri in attack mode. This brings out the Nanishi. Of course, there's going to be no draws. There could be a Cash Cash face down, though. That would be pretty nice for him. Okay, Gamma Oil. That also works. It's going to give him a level 7 synchro so we're gonna see beret come out here
maybe. Okay, the cash in is going to put that Sun Saga into defense. He's not having it. Okay, here is the. Maybe you go Samurai Destroyer. Okay, yeah, Samurai Destroyer to try and just take this out right now. And it's going to definitely take it out. So, he does still have a follow up at least. He can go for the level 6 synchro. Bro, our plane. Oh, brothers. Okay, I see. So he's gonna have at least some follow up. If he has a, ideally he has a solitaire. We know he has Gozuki though, so he could try and do something with it. Okay, so here's the Gozuki. Gozuki is going to probably send solitaire to the grave. So you could take out this Samurai D. And then from there, the Karakuri basically has the top deck merchant. We're seeing a Fiendish Chain come out though. Ideally, the hmm. ideally the face down is Ballista Squad because he can activate Gozuki and then chain Ballista Squad to pop the Fiendish Chain, and then the Gozuki would resolve. He'd send the Sawtear, and he would take out the Samurai Destroyer. But let's see what he does. Because if it was um, Ballista Squad. Last turn, he wouldn't have used it on the Samurai Destroyer because it would just would have summoned it back anyway. So I feel like it could be Ballista Squad. Well, let's see what he does. Alright, so he can't do much here, unfortunately. And the Samurai Destroyer is going to prevent him from banishing the Squire Saga. I'm, I, okay, yeah, so that makes sense, actually. He didn't go for a Synchro play with his Spectral Sword. Oh, man, but he rips into a Merchant. That's gonna help him get started on more Synchro plays. There's a Divine Wrath, though. Okay, Divine Wrath. There. Hey, what's up, Raindrop? Divine Rat's definitely gonna help him though, for sure. But now he has to. He's gonna need to draw once again either Solitaire or Gozuki to try and get over this Samurai Destroyer. It's really annoying. I guess a Katan would work too. Okay, Phoenix Chain. So now they are both in top deck mode. So who's drawing what first? What do you think about living in the city? Um, you mean the the Sonic R song? I like it. I don't know. I know. You mean just living in the city in general? It's okay, I guess. Okay, so he's going to get a draw for the Squire. Did he draw the tuner? Let's see. If he doesn't send this one, he likes this card. So he likes that card. Okay. I don't know what it is, but he likes it. He sends the Ballista Squad, actually, which is interesting. But it's fair. I guess he doesn't need it because he doesn't have a tuner anymore. So he can't do that solitaire play I was talking about. Yeah, I don't know. I live in the suburbs, so yeah. Let's see, if that was a Karma Cut, I guess. I don't know. Oh, he goes for the Fiendish, actually.
that's a really nice top deck too, honestly. Because he has the Samurai D live once again. Start putting pressure on both of these monsters. Alright, takes out the Archfiend Zombie Skull. Yeah, he is, uh, he's not in a good spot. He has no tuners in the grave. He's only top decking back row that, even if he removes Samurai Destroyer, he just summons something else back, so. He's gonna go super minus. He's gonna need, uh, probably another Phoenix Chain. Just, that's probably the best card to, to stall for now. But also Mikasa has most of his engine still. Well, he still has both of his level 5. He's got two more merchants in the deck. He decides to set a card face down. Okay, so that's Sam D. Takes out the Gozuki. There is a Spear Master though, top deck. He's gonna be able to go for the level 3 tuner in the graveyard. He could go for a, a level 10, right? Yeah. That's also pretty good. I feel like, okay, Cosmic Cyclone is going to hit the back row card. That was the best top possible. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, so Zombie uh, Skull going back to the extra deck is going to pop the Cosmic. And now he can deal with it pretty easily, and this should be it. 915, that's going to be game for Officer. So they're going to go 1-1 one one now. You love to see it. I was watching a war a little earlier. Um, I had to dip out though. So both of these teams are currently 2 and 1 in their division. I think they're in the same division as us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we played them already. Both of them. I think. I'm not 100% sure though. Let me check. No, we have not played Last Tribe yet. But we, I think, yeah, we played BZ like last week. You love to see it? Fuck Kari Kari? Damn. Tell us how you really feel. I guess you are, right? Okay. So, starts off with the Samoon. Black Whirlwind is here, and it is top tier. Black Bear one's gonna get him a search, probably a level four. Yep, there's the Zephros. So we're gonna see him do his little combo here. So you guys all know he's gonna get a Roshi, special summon a Roshi, go for the uh, level whatever seven, Rikiri, maybe another one, and pass. The classic. Okay, so he's gonna go for the level seven with the three and the four first. He's saving the Oroshi for a rainy day.
Okay, so there's the ancient pixie dragon. Zephyros gonna bounce the mountain. He's all clogged up. Maybe, um... I'm always kind of tempted to... No, you know what? It's fine, I guess. Yeah. Versus this deck. So he does get double back row, though. It's gonna take another thousand. I guess if it comes to it, he could just pop his own cards with Pixie Dragon. Okay, so there's the Gozuki. We already saw Rikiri and the Aroshi, so he doesn't have to worry about clothes. Alright. I mean, both of the sets probably going to be Cosmic Cyclone. Okay, so he sends a Spectre Sword to the graveyard. Uh, nice. This already seems like a three hour war. I know, right? Only uh, one in one so far. Where's all the OTK decks at? I mean, we see Black Wings, but he had to go first. So, doesn't get a chance to show us stuff. Let's see, are we gonna see the double cosmic during the end phase? It's not cosmic, so I wonder what it is. Okay, Rikiri is going to pop. The back throw it is a fiendish chain. Maybe he'll cosmic now. Okay, there's the first cosmic and the take out the fiendish chain. Pixie is going to take out the Gozuki. I don't think he would dare banish his Spectral Sword. Oh, he does dare. I guess he could have another one in the hand. Okay, it's a Spirit Master. So maybe there's a uh, Katan face down. In which case, maybe he should have sent Squire, but... It is what it is. Doesn't look like he has anything that should be game. So BZ is going to be up 2-1 to one now versus uh, Lost Tribes. Yeah, he cannot do anything there. So they have to beat the Blackwing deck. What do you guys send in for Blackwings? Probably something with Floodgates Canadias, right? Okay, so last going one and two. Going as the starter is always a little bit hard. Um, usually you're just trading two twos. It's a lot easier to streak as the counter deck. 
Or is the man coming in instead of, uh, you know, starting? Back in the day, I'd always be starting, though. I would always go 2-2. Two, two. Okay, so we're just waiting to see who Lost Tribe is going to send in next. Seal 2, Mass Heroes, let's go. Okay, so the timer is ticking. What are they sending in for the black ones? Okay, so we're seeing Mo Abdel on the table. So it's gonna be Mo Abdel versus Mikasa. Alright, so we see Yama Yugi. It's probably gonna be uh, some invoked deck with back row. I really wish you could make the um, the match still though. That'd be like such a great feature. Once again, the Black Wings is going first, but this time he does not open so well. Let's see if uh, Lost Triumphs can take advantage of that. Okay, so there is the Alistair coming out. Alistair is going to get him a invocation to his hand so probably already has some fusion targets in his hand I guess ideally an earth maybe push for game Megaroid City coming out so he can get whatever he wants here but probably suspecting a CC from the face downs so I don't expect the Megaroid City to resolve. Okay, so it is going to resolve. I don't know, I don't think Black Wings play anything besides CC and Whirlwind, right? I'm trying to think. I guess they might play Necro Valley. Okay, so Invocation is going to be activated. He adds the Kyroid to his hand. So he's going to go for a Cositis. And then he adds the Alistair back to his hand. And the Cositis is a, a dragon, so it's getting boosted off of the mountain. All 
Alright, so he's pushing for 2k. Two Alistairs this game. Okay, doesn't have it. Definitely has one Alistair though. There's Black Whirlwind number one. Okay, Chris coming out. Does he have a answer to this, Chris? Okay, Nadia pretty good here. Um, this one should probably be over unless there's a Lance, yeah. Or a Lance, I'm sorry, Forbidden Lance. So yeah, that's gonna eat up his normal summon, no search, and it's probably just gonna end his turn. Okay, Necro Valley coming out. He does not want any more uh, Megaroid City shenanigans with the Alistair. Alright, so this Cositis is going to be able to put a lot of pressure on the Blackwing player. Chris only has 300 defense, so... Most monsters here should win him the game. Like, mostly anything he draws should just be game, I mean. Okay, there's a Dark Geroid. Um, this is an interesting card because the field spell searches for any Roid monster, which would include the Jeroid. So, pretty nice attack. It's to make uh, Cositis. I'm sorry, Kaliga, I mean, since it's a dark. I guess this is a mandatory effect, right? So, he's gonna have to decrease something. I uh, probably wanna just go ahead and decrease the dark Jeroid. Because the Chris is. Actually, no. Oh, that's actually kind of annoying. Because, uh. No, 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 I guess, yeah, Cositis is fine, because you can still pitch Alistair. Oof. Well, now, isn't it 400 defense? Oh, it's 300. Okay, no, yeah, he's fine no matter what. He's good, he's good. Is it really worth playing just for Kaliga? I mean, the other Dark Roid, I think, sucks, right? Offerings to the Doom, gonna take out the Dark Jeroid. That's how powerful he is. He's willing to skip his draw phase just to take out the Dark Jeroid. Alright, well, it should be over. No draw phase. Uh, going into game number... Or actually, it's over for Mikasa. This should be his last life. It's searchable, sir. Because it's a roid monster, technically. Alright, so... Their counter worked out for them. So we are now 2-2. BZ is going to be up on the counters though. I mean, when isn't Kaliga good? He's always pretty annoying. Okay, so I do not know who is on the table, but they join. Oh, okay, it's Sakura. Alright, so Sakura has come out. He said, I'm tired of these boneheads playing. It's time for me to just finish this war. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to add the score. Okay, so 2-2. Two, two. So Sakura is on the bottom, right? He's got the... Grand Tournament mat. Looks pretty nice.
And I have been Cosmic Pog Champ. So that's on the main channel. So I know Taha's awake and he's ignoring my messages. So thank you, Taha. I'm just kidding. I didn't send them any messages. Alright, so he adds the Kyroid with his Megaroid City. So what is Sakura playing? I didn't see a restart delay. Pretty sure I didn't see a restart delay. So something on you say. I have no idea what it could be. Probably Karkari. I don't know. It's playing 24 cards. Shiranui. I guess that would be fine too. Okay, sure, Nui versus Invoked. I don't know how I feel about that. Because Alistair is really annoying in this matchup. But I'm sure they tested this matchup a ton, so. Gonna have to end on one more set card here. Katan is really strong in the matchup. Yeah, that's fair. But it's kind of like they also have Alistair. So it's for me, it's always just like, I don't know. It's not really favored towards any one side, but like they have three Purgatrios. And you have to draw a katan or it's pretty hard. I have to check something actually, let me see something. Okay, that's why I got confused. Yeah, so we did play them in Clan Wars. We played both of these teams in Clan Wars and then they're also in our division. That's pretty funny. I don't know who they play this week though. No, they don't play each other. I'd say that'd be really funny to play each other again. All right, so he's taking a long time here to think. We know one of the cards is a kite roid, so it's just whatever he just drew is making him think about something. Cosmic Cyclone. I'm gonna take out the back row. Goodbye, invocation. The bluff. Okay, Gozuki number two gonna come out. Going to send the spectral sword. It's gonna take 17 to the face. All right, Alistair is here and he is top tier. Let's go Alistair top deck. Where's this Alistair at? Okay, so... So 
So we know he has Kite Ride at least though, so he's not dead. And he can definitely go for his Destiny Draw. I think that's really annoying that Kite Ride and Destiny Draw can be played like together. There's not much they can do about that though, like, what would you even do? Limit Destiny Draw to the two. So Fiendish Chain going to stop the Gozuki from sending a anything to the grave. So now he's all locked up. So what does... I mean, Alistair is the best card here. You know? There's no question about it. He did lose an invocation though, so... These guys take too long, man. What the heck? I'll be here all day. Okay, second Kyroid is added to the hand. And that's it. Alright, go, go, Zuki. So, Ballista Squad is going to take out the Megaroid City and the Gozuki. And go for a Samurai. Going to go for a Trish. So he's gonna summon out the Spectral Sword, and it should, uh, it looks like game, but we know he has double kite right, so, yeah.
so Kyro is gonna save his life there. Let's go, let's go. Alright, another Megaroid City. No Alistair in sight. Gonna get rid of a needle wall though. Submarine Roid can start poking him. Okay, so hey what's up this guy? Sends a dark Jeroid to the graveyard. Submarine Roid going into defense. And he still has that second kite roid in his hand. He really had to do it to him. Hey what's up Stevie? Alright, there's another Gozuki. Yeah. Hey what's up? Yeah, I remember I remember we were talking about this the other day. About the dark Jeroid. Okay. Pushing lethal. Wait. Oh okay. I guess he's just done. Just kidding, he only played one kite ride. Right? It was a joke. It was just a prank. Alright, so BZ is gonna be up uh, 3 to 2. Yeah, they're gonna be up 3 to 2. And. I will be right back, I think. Wait, no, yes. Yes, I'll be right back. Okay, now I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Yeah. 
looks like... Okay, so... Sakura... Still on the Shirinui. I had to fill up my water bottle. Damn, Bakura's song kind of goes. Alright, so what is his second deck? What skill triggered? Balance. So we could see Dark Magicians. We could also see um, Trio Mids. I've seen people playing that Balance Karakuri. Curry. Not a fan of it, but... So Herald of the Abyss coming out. Gonna get rid of the... Squire Saga. I'm smelling the Dark Magicians. Alright, so there is the Dark Magic Circle. It's gonna go uninterrupted. I suppose. Could have had uh, Cosmic. Okay, so Magician's Rod's gonna activate. Gonna add him the uh, the last limb of Exodia. He's gonna assemble all pieces right now. Yeah, so he's got Dark Magician. He's got Circle. He's got Navigation. He's got everything he wants. And he's got an ideal matchup. Uh, Dark Magician's doing pretty well against Shiranui. Um, of course, they can have, they can go first, open Ballista and the Cosmics, but that did not happen here. Okay, so Ghost meets Girl for Samurai. Yeah, he's going to be able to pop the circle here. If he wants to. I'd imagine he'd want to, though. Okay. So navigation is going to allow him to summon out Kaiku, but he is going to chain the Spirit Master here, which is interesting because Spirit Master is going to resolve in a separate chain link, so it's going to let him destroy. But the interesting thing is that because he is turn player, he's going to be chain link one. So Circle is still going to be able to banish here because. Mo Abdel should be chain link two on his circle. So here's Spirit Master triggering as chain link one, and we're gonna see Circle triggering as chain link two. So he's gonna be able to take care of the samurai. So, uh, okay, Ghost meets Girl, gonna come out here. I'm gonna have to send the Gozuki, and honestly, I think this is over for the Shirinui player. Well, actually, you know what? He could go for a. He can go for a tuner here, right? So, let's see what happens. Man's really used turn player. I'm pretty sure um, they have no idea. You know, I don't know. I wouldn't imagine um, most Duel Links players knowing, but who am I to, I don't know. Maybe they did. Maybe they're big brain.
Nah, this game's over. This game is not over. It was a prank. This game's over, but for Mo Abdel. Now nah, this game's over. Wait. Yeah, this game's over. Only thing that would somehow make him lose is you guys know what. Long delay here for some reason. Probably the samurai, I would assume. Alright, so he attacked in the right order. Pretty big brain of him, I can't even lie. DLTW Habibi DLTW Habibi Okay, so he's gonna have access to the spectral sword So yeah, it's just like I've been saying this entire time, this game is over. Okay, so Spirit Master coming out, gonna be able to special summon a Shirinui monster, probably gonna be the Spectral Sword Shade. Alright, this game is not over. I've said it once and I'll say it again. We're in for a long one here. I mean, he has nothing to fear. Um, the back rows, he has double negates. So, yeah. True, actually. No Lance, though. Leaves the level 4 up for the XC summon. Okay. Two back row. Doesn't do much here for him. Hey Hideki, thank you for the resub. Yes, return to a monkey. Return to monkey. Alright, so... The um, going into the Spirit Master it takes a thousand. It's gone. Rod is going in for 16. So he's down to 1350. Is this combo or this control? This is... yes. Okay, so he's gonna choose navigation. 
Dude, this is kind of big brain because he could make him banish the other navigation by accident. You know what I mean? And then he gets rid of both of them. Alright, so Spirit Master is going to pop a card. He's going to get rid of the circle. And now he can... Uh, doesn't have anything else to do with the Catan, though. He does rip into a Solitaire, though. You love to see it. So what does he have left? He's got the Spectral Sword Shade, and I think he has the level 7. Okay, no. There's no hope for you. Wait, you know what? I think he has a chance, actually. This can summon itself. Except Spectral Sword Shade. Okay, well. He can still get two bodies on the board. When he sent Dark Jeroid, I was weak. True. I mean, don't most people play um, multiple level threes? Gonna go for the level six synchro. There's the samurai saga. It's gonna be able to put the rod into defense if he wants to. Probably not gonna do that. And I'm pretty sure he has navigation set right, so. Okay, so there's the third circle of the game. And there's the navigation. So it's looking pretty bad for Sakura. This game is over. I'm saying it. I'm calling it early, guys. Alright, so the circle is going to activate. Gonna get rid of the... Oh. I guess he timed out there. Alright, so 3-3. Three and three. Close score so far. Timeout. It looks like it. It was kind of like an abrupt end to a match. Using means they timed out. Alright, let me just update these for you guys. Crazy how we still have the same amount of time in a match as when we were slamming vanillas with order to charge. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing, right? You just return to monkey, go unga bunga. So we're just waiting for the match to start. I don't know if um, it's a shadow duel though. Hey shadow. Just waiting for them to start, maybe. Maybe, perhaps.
I think it might be a shadow duel, but it's... Yeah, it's looking like it. Alright, so, uh... Let's see what's in the card trader. Nothing good. Yeah, so they are dueling right now, so I'm just, uh, I'll just auto-duel for a little bit, I guess. I think uh, the replay. All right, do I have a card blocker? I don't think so. Oh no. Oh. So who's on the top? Oh, Sakura's on the bottom. Alright, so it looks like Sakura opened pretty busted here. Prismatic Merchant as well, I'm jealous. Also, what's up, Pinku? So, pretty nice turn one, I'd have to say. Especially versus uh, Dark Magician. Who we'll also have a pretty good turn one, but it's not as good as that. Must be nice, right? Onita! 
ゃんSakura claps cheeks for sure. Oh. Uh. Okay then. Should be an interesting game. I like the sleeves on the top. He's got the. He's got the kotori everything. A man on a mission right here. Rebrick. You hate to see it. What's up, Wu lad? Oh, I, I forgot to put the, the life back. Alright, so Smiger hits the board. Summons out the wielder. Hey, what's up, Robin? Thank you for the 36 months. How are you doing today? So there's the Coral Dragon. Smiger going to get the impacts. Summons out the Rose Nicks. That should be it. Okay, here's the SAMD, and that is going to be lethal. All right, so fake Zix coming in, ending Sakura's little run here. Oops, not that one. Okay, this one. Okay, so Sakura going two and two overall. Pretty nice. He did his job. That re brick was unfortunate. Especially when you're going first, you definitely don't want to break. The Christron's opening quite well there. Nice. Nice letters, guys. I forgot what the latest prismatic I got was. Let's see. Nail biters, true. It's pretty close, back and forth. Uh, let's see. Shoutouts to Twin Long Rod number one, by the way. Let's see. Let's see. What was it? Guess it was. Is this no? It's been it's been a minute. Is it this? I guess. I guess right. This might actually be in the. Um, oh, okay. There you go. It's been a while. I'm so unlucky with boxes. I don't know why. I just never get prismatics. I I literally I open. The same amount as everybody else, and everybody will get like five prismatics, and I'll get nothing. I'm like, okay, I guess so. It's so sad when you have everything, you just get like the most useless shit. 
Yes, welcome to my hell. Wait, did I see a new card? Oh, never mind. Hey, what's up, Metal? I'm so happy I have my 165th copy of Royal Keeper. What is this login? Oh, choose your gifts. Okay. I mean, I guess. Here we go. Easy Fugo. Whatever that means. So this is going to be a really important game. I mean, they all are, but this one is probably going to be the turning point. Because whoever can get the win here, they're going to start being... Uh, on the on ahead on the counter side at least so okay so it starts off with the this for or the um scrap recycler sending the this for adds the smiger to his hand by the way guys this turn is once per turn just letting you know so feft you're gonna discard the smiger So now the Smiger is going to pop itself. Or I'm sorry, the Sofafnir is going to pop itself. Then he activates to summon a Christian from the deck. Summons out to the Turtle. We could be seeing a Quarion here. But, uh, I don't know. Kind of plays into the needle ceiling, I guess. Not as good as you might think it is, but let's see what he does. No. All right, so he's gonna get rid of the scrap recycler. Phoenix chain though coming out. He's gonna need lance or a cosmic cyclone. There's the cosmic chain link three. Gonna get rid of the Phoenix chain. He's gonna need another Phoenix chain. Okay, so here comes the Citri. So the problem is going to be the cards in the graveyard. So Smiger is going to activate. Okay, so he gets the impact to his hand. He sets a mysterious card that we have no idea what it is. That's gonna be it for him. All right, so let's see what Fugo can do here. Do something, do something, do something. All right, Kanadia, gonna put the Citri face down. Can't do anything about that. So no um, synchro plays gonna be coming out, but at the same time, he should be safe from dying. So that's a plus, I guess.
Okay, so he's got two level sixes on the field now. Takes out the Citri and takes out the turtle. So the turtle is going to be negated now in the graveyard. So he's got to be careful to remember that. He can always banish it for cost though if he really wants to. So impact is going to come out here. It's going to bring back the this fern from the banish zone. And he's going to chain Kanadi here. So he's all clogged up. Uh, maybe he is... Hmm, I don't know actually. I was thinking maybe he's playing against... Um, or he's playing into uh, having him play into his needle ceiling, but I feel like you would go so minus, right? You go like minus two for that, so it's probably not worth it. Okay, so there's the Rion. All he needs is uh, the Psychic Wielder if he wants to party. There is an impact already in the grave as well, so Ballista Squad is not going to help him here. Um, he could maybe go after the Psychic Wielder though. Wielder. How is it pause? Oh, okay. I thought you were saying Weird Champ. I don't know. I don't have that emo on my channel, so I, it, I didn't see it. Going for a level sync, level six sync right here. Gonna go for a coral dragon. Ballista squad gonna take out the coral dragon. He is gonna be able to draw a card here though. And he still got the Sofef near in the grave. So that's another thing. Okay, so this run is gonna activate its effects to search for a Christron card. A Christron monster I should say. It's gonna get Citri to his hand. So, so Fefnir is going to send the Rosenix. And he's probably going to pop himself. Yep, so The Hades has to be taken care of before he can try to flow on stuff. So he brings out a Smiger. And Smiger is also going to activate its effect. Popping the Umi. And there's a Ballista Squad to take out the... Boomy, okay, interesting. So nothing coming out from the uh, Smiger. Okay, Rose next going to summon a token onto the field. I didn't even know that it had this picture. Is this new? I don't think so, right? SSA coming out. It's going to be able to get the Umi back onto the field. Okay, so he's going to just set one. The hot desk going in. He does not want the uh, Smiger to be negated, so he's gonna tag him out. Okay, there is the Citri. We saw him at it during the last turn. It's gonna go for the Amatrix here. Amatrix, pretty nice with the established SSA. Now 
And we see the Smiger as well. He's gonna get an entry. Okay, so SSA is gonna take care of that hot deaths. Alright, so now it's looking pretty good for the Christian player. Does not have a um, Spectral Sword in the grave either, so he's gonna get outvalued here. So just having to pass on a set, another set card. So he can start applying a ton of pressure to the uh, Shirinui player. Here's the this room. So he's going to go in for 3600. This is going to turn off CC as well, so it's looking more and more grim for him. And even if he even if he has CC, he would just die here, so he can't even use it. There's a lance. Okay, so it's gonna be at a thousand, but I don't know how that uh, saves him. Okay, Gozuki, gonna activate its effect. It's gonna get a tuner onto the field. I'm sorry, I was gonna get a uh, tuner into the grave, or maybe send Spirit Master. I don't know. I don't think anything he does here really matters anymore. Okay, send Solitaire. What does he have banished? Okay. Yeah, it's, he's in a really bad spot. Fake Zix should have this, unless like something wild happens. So, Fake Six taking out the Shiranui. He's gonna put his team up, I believe, for the first time, right? So they are up 5 to 4 now. Alright, so let's see if we're going to see a repeat here from BZ. 
looks like they are repeating guys so we will be seeing once again Shunu versus Christrons. Hey, what's up, unknown? Oh, I took the deck off the wrong person. Okay. Not the best start for sure, Nui's. Uh, that's a big oof, especially after you just used your repeat. You got, uh, pretty much nothing going for you. You got back row at least, I guess. Starts off with an undying, gonna be able to send the Sofafnir to the grave. Now he gets the party though. Yeah, the Christron deck is doing pretty well here today. already gonna be super ahead here but I don't know problem is Shirinui like basically anytime they're behind they basically need the spectral sword in the graveyard already or they're really really behind because he basically has nothing right like he has just the back row protecting him and usually the SSA variants they don't really care about back row so Like, assuming he draws, like, Squire, Gozuki, even, he still can't use a Spectral Sword to the following turn, so really he, like, he gives Christrons, like, three free turns, right? Because they can't even do any huge push. Yeah, I mean, going for the Amatrix there, it's a pretty good indication that he has it. Okay, so Sots here. It's gonna go into a Spectral Sword, but it's gonna be on the field and not in the grave. for subscribing to the main channel tag. He can't hear me though. Alright, Cosmic Cyclone. Gonna take out that Umi. He said not today. There's that Christian Impact though. Gonna be able to revive the Smiger.
Alright, so what's he gonna do here? Do something. Well... Okay, here's the SSA. Hey, what's up, Dave? I was like, is that a Twitch emote? Like a global Twitch emote? Okay. So he's gonna pop the SSA, bring out the Rion. He can go for a Stardust Dragon right here. No, he can't. He can go for Amatrix, though. The last card is Fiendish. That's super annoying. Okay. Rip. Exactly full. Alright, so Fake Zig takes it. So, Lost Tribes is going to be up 6 to 2 now. I'm sorry, 6 to 4. They were down. Uh, one and two, I believe. So now that they're, they're taking a steady lead now. That counter did not work out for BZ, unfortunately. kind of passed out and didn't get to make my fantasy team this week but it's okay
Dark Boys. Gonna have BZ Luca versus Fake Six. So far, Fake Zix is 3 0. Will they be able to stop this man? When they send Whale, you know you're in trouble. Okay, there's a Sofafnir as well. Probably gonna go for a Smiger here. Or this run, I guess, is fine too. Yeah, he really got a really good hand here. Versus 23 card something. I'd assume another Shrewdner deck. This is what they got for Christrons. I don't know how I feel about this thing. Okay, so Smiger is going to get popped here. Hey, what's up Duelings Lounge? How are you doing today? Gonna get the Psychic Wielder onto the, fo onto the board. I was gonna say Ford. The Ford focus. Alright. Gonna go for a level 6 Synchro. Here is the Brio. Chill making a bowl. Of cereal. How do you make a bowl of cereal, dude? Did you get the grains yourself? I got you, though. I'm picking up what you're putting down. What's your favorite cereal? I'm a I'm a honey nut Cheerios kind of guy. I also like regular cornflakes. Pretty good. By the way, guys, if you didn't know this, I know uh, you should be familiar with rye, but rye actually microwaves his milk before he puts cereal in it. I'll just like, bruh. Wow, what the fuck's that? 
You're eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Yeah, that shit slaps. I can't even lie. It's pretty good. Apple Jacks? Is that the, the cinnamon, cinnamon Apple Jacks thing? Microwave his milk. I don't know, the man likes warm milk, what can I say? Alright, so Smiger is going to activate its effects to search another impact. Alright, I think that's the first impact of the game, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Yep. Wait. Yep. That was the last game we had. They're trying to eat healthy. If you're trying to the healthier thing between all the cereals, you're just gonna have to go to oatmeal. That's the the ultimate. That's not actually cereal, right? but that would be that would be the trade-off. All right, so Brio is gonna activate his effects. Onichan. You lost 10 to 9 to Dragoonity, God's Chosen, damn. I would be punching the air. Nah, I mean, uh, pretty close. Uh, oh, you lost to, you lost to Dragoonity. Oh, you're on God's Chosen, I see. Alright, well. This is interesting now, because they are at a point where they're going to be running out of decks. So it's now 7 to 4, and uh, the repeat did not work once, or I'm sorry, the counter did not work once again. So what do you do here? Do you repeat, or do you go to your second deck? So Fake Zix is now going up 4 and 0. Oh. Okay. Looks like they did repeat. Let's see. Yes. So they are fresh out of repeats. I'm kind of tired of hearing this Mako theme, to be honest. But you know, whenever somebody's clapping, I guess it's fine. You don't get to hear it too often anyways, since it's only Mako's song. I don't know, am I even allowed to, um play music if it's my own uh, channel. I know you can't do it on the main channel. So once again, he's starting off with that Undyne. I don't have any, I do not know how many times he's had the Undyne in his hand. Alright, so, so Fafnir can activate its effects, bring out the Rosenix. Rosenix is gonna pop the Undyne, bring out a Citri probably. You guys know what he's doing, he knows what he's doing.
Okay, so he puts down the Rion. So he's all clogged up now. So it takes out the Citri. It's gonna take out the Rion, gonna take out the Rosenix as well. Alright, so he cleaned up the board pretty nicely there. He's got double boosts on some of his monsters because of the dancer. There is an impact during the end phase though, gonna bring back the turtle. Cosmic Cyclone coming out. Gonna give it to the back row card. Probably a Pulse or a uh, what's that other card called? Power Sync Stone. Okay, it was a Trim Pulse. So now the Trio mid player has no interactions on their turn anymore. I mean, they have the treatment effects, but it doesn't really interact with the Christian players, so... Do something, do something, do something. Okay, so he brings out the Smiger and he has the Genix controller on the field. He's going for a level six synchro. Okay, here's the Brio. Smag you're gonna activate.
All right, the music changed, boys. Does that mean it's over here? It's over. All right, so Luca finally takes a game. Big Zix gonna have to move on to a second deck now. Hey, Tetchi, how are you? All right, so it's gonna be five to seven now. Alright, does Fake Sick have a deck to beat Trio Mints? I see Edo Phoenix. It's looking pretty good. Also, we finally get a new song, and I really like Aster's song, so thank you. 20 cards. He's going first. Should be fine for him. It's Heroes. Alright, so... Heroes plays a lot of CC, so... And they play Shadows. Pretty annoying card for the Treatment player. Okay, so Increase gets the Vion. You guys all know how it works, right? Vion sends Malicious. He has Celestial set up too, so that's quite nice. And then he can banish Fares with Vion. Okay, so he's going, he's going a little all in right now. I respect it, doesn't want to draw the malicious. He's got a prismatic malicious too, I like it. Prismatic poly, no, okay. That's gonna be it from him. So, not ideal versus Trio Mids, but uh, let's see how the Trio Mid player opens. What's up, Sham? Alright, there's the King Golem, double King Golem, so King Golem is going to activate in the graveyard. It's going to allow him to special summon the Sphinx onto the field. He still has a normal summon as well. It does not look like... Okay, so just double back row. So it's not looking too bad for the hero player actually. Especially if he has a Stratos in his hand. It's looking pretty good actually. Okay, Cosmic Cyclone uh, coming out. Let's see what he takes out. It's gonna go for the back row. All right, don't don't do it to him. That's not a good start. Yeah, it's pretty. It's probably one of the worst hands you can get with Trio Meds. But I mean, at least he had Double King Golem. Okay, is an increase. So increase is normal summon. He's gonna use Bring It. Bring it to put back something. Probably kept the polymerization. Okay, so here's Destiny Hero Plasma. I didn't even see the little circles come up, man. He just he just came up out of nowhere. Kinda spooky. Alright, so Plasma is going to take that Sphinx. And he also has a Celestial draw too. Doesn't have Prismatic Plasma though. You hate to see it. How come there are four people casting one war and you are casting alone? Okay, Treacherous. That's a good question, Andy. I don't know. I just, uh, I picked up this game because they said nobody was streaming it. So I was like, alright, I might as well just stream it then. So he did use his normal summon on the increase, so unless he draws Ferris, or if he draws two heroes, he can go for Polly, I guess. Otherwise, he's just going to have to pass. So 
So Luca did not draw anything. So Big Zix probably has a hero in the hand and he's going to play Stratos. So Stratos is going to add a hero monster to his hand. Goes for a Ferris. Alright, so he's going to be able to put 3400. Okay, Polly. If he has two heroes in the hand, this should be over. Alright. So this should be game. All right, and just like that, Fake Six continuing his go, his uh, I don't know what you would call it, his run. It's going five and one so far. Yeah, Treemid was the counter to Christrons actually. They sent it in for Christrons. So BZ is gonna be down to their last player, Maple. Is LT undefeated? So if you take a look at the bottom left, you're going to see that both of these teams are 2-1 and one so far. I believe LT is second place in the division. BZ is probably third. If I'm not mistaken. It's okay. All right, so we got Maple versus Fake Six. You love to see it. He played the Christians pretty well. He's going uh, first with heroes once again. Ferris turn one. Sending the Celestial once again. So pretty nice. He's gonna have a follow-up for the next turn. They do both have the Charmer map. But Fake Six has the uh, Friendship sleeves. He has all of Lost Tribes counting on him. So he's got the upper hand it looks like. Okay, so once again, going for Mali turn one, and he has not gotten the poly yet. Okay, there you go. Alright, so... He's all set up, the gang's all here, he set up the wall. No CC or mass change once again. Who needs those cards to win? Personally, uh, I'm not a huge fan of summoning Mali early just because uh, they can choose to not attack, right? And then if you have like Stratos in your hand, you can't use it before you... You have to poly before you go for Stratos. It's kind of annoying. But, uh, I mean, assuming he... It's a 30 card deck, actually, so... Probably gonna see Christian here with level 2. Does... Crow even have level dupe though. I know he has reduction, but 
It's another Christrons. Alright, we could be seeing a Quarion come out here. Who am I kidding? We're definitely seeing Quarion. That's gonna be really, really uh, good against the hero player. He's about to lose his Great Wall. Well, I guess he could banish Lesu actually, instead of the Malicious. Yeah, okay, and Wielder's gonna take out the Mali. So, full cleanup here. So he has, he's basically out of steam, ideally I think he would have what, Stratos and Mass Change, but uh, he's able to special summon, so it's not looking too hot for him right now. Okay, there's an increase. Can't do much with just that. Okay, so there's the mass change. Going in for 14, mass change number 2. If he has triple mass change actually. Or maybe a chalice. Okay, that one goes through. Does he have another one? No, okay. I was gonna say. That would be crazy. Yeah, Christron should have this one. Alright, so Maples is going to take that game. So, Zix is going to be out now. But well, he did a really good job. 5 and 2. So we are now 6 of 2 8. Lost Tribe still has both of their repeats.
Now that Maple's won the game though, oh wait, they don't even have any more repeats, never mind. I was gonna say you can't repeat anymore, but they don't have any anyways. So we're seeing Yusei versus Gautu. Or I'm sorry, Gautu versus Maple. I got too ahead of myself. Okay, so Scrap Recycler, turn one. It's kind of looking like how Fake Six was opening. Sends the Soul Fafnir, so you already know he has another Christian in the hand. Gonna send a Citri, popping the Soul Fafnir. Gonna send it out this run. This run's probably gonna pop the Scrap Recycler. Go for a Citri. Okay, so they also sent Shir Nui's to beat Chris Trons. Squire is pretty nice here. It's gonna be a 16, 20 card version. Okay. So no level Og just yet. So we're probably gonna see triple back row coming out. A single back row. Okay, same thing, I guess. Amatrix is going to put the Samurai Saga into defense. the Gen X controller. Can we go for a little six synchro? There's the Coral Dragon. It should have been a really good spot right here. There's the Sofafnir effects. Gonna bring out the turtle. The turtle. Okay, he's gonna pop himself. Alright, he's gonna try to go for game here. Alright, goodbye Samurai Saga, going in for 25. Little round boy. 2400 to the face, he's gonna put him at 16. He does have the follow up in the graveyard. And he has a uh, Citri, a juicy Citri sitting in attack position, that's gonna be it. Alright, BZ down to their last deck. We we'll started off as a close war. Uh, Zix was able to just start running away with it. So now BZ is at the uh, on the losing side here. Onigiri. 
John. Hey Stacy, how are you? I'm alright, just streaming some Team Wars for Team Wars. Alright, so we could be watching potentially the last game here. It's looking like it's Power of Dark. Alright, so it's gonna be Dark Magicians versus Shiranui. And the DM player is going first, so if he has combo, he's gonna be in a good spot. Versus anything, but especially versus Shiranui. Well, the fact that Gazuki is able to send something kind of tells me it probably doesn't have navigation. Maybe it does though. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe he's just playing with his food. And that's a uh, Cosmic Cyclone, pretty nice here. There's another circle though, so... Another DM added to the hand. There's a navigation. Alright, well it's not looking too good for the... This man said Cosmic, these nuts. He did say that. It's not looking too good for the Shiranui player here, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm just telling you how it is. I mean, assuming there is, uh... Mm, I don't know. I could see him making a comeback, though, but... If that's navigation set, if that's navigation set then he's gonna have to deal with the Kaiku as well. Just gonna go for the double set pass, it looks like. Okay, there is another back row card for the DM. It's gonna be a Spirit Master. Okay. It's gonna go for the Spectral Sword here, gonna banish the Spear Master. Navigation gonna stop him in his tracks. Uh, gonna bring out a Kaiku, and uh, this should be it.
All right, so we are now seven to nine. They're creeping up on Lost Tribes. He was playing Christrons, and then he played a little bit of Heroes. So it looks like they didn't repeat, which is interesting. Who needs to repeat when you open? Oh wait, no, he won one, right? I'm sorry. Sorry about that, guys. He he couldn't repeat. All right, anyways, opens up Nanishi and the Hypa. Gonna go for the Bure. Also, this song freaking goes. Whoever doesn't play with music on, I feel sorry for you. Actually, I don't though. I can totally understand why. But I also feel sorry for you. Alright, so... Circle! For circle. Yes, I know. Relax yourself. Yeah, pretty, pretty trash board if I do say so. But, uh, DM didn't get to add any uh, of the pieces of Exodia to their hand, so things are looking okay, champ. There's the Necro Valley. So no more uh, Gamma Oils. Alright. 26 to the face. There's Canadia. Does he have an illusion? Nope. Alright, so 2000 to the face. Is he gonna have to double circle here? He's stopping that Canadian herbal and navigation. Oh. Alright, well, that was. That was interesting. Alright, well, I guess Lost Tribes wins the war 10 to 7. Doesn't even wanna try to fake him out or anything. So congratulations to Lost Tribe for your victory over BZ. Let me just update the records for the final time. All right. So that should be it. Let's see. Does that add up? That adds up. All right. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys had fun. And that is going to be it for me. Let's see who I can host. Let's see. Going to hit up uh, probably GN, stranger. Yeah, I'm going to host GN. He's really cool. He's watching Smogon versus Forbidden Ones. So yeah. See you later, guys. Have a good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Whatever. Okay, see ya.